Suffering is an emotional experience born from fear. All life is energy. Energy is manifested in either love or fear. All behaviors are therefore derived from either fear or love. Fear is exhibited in the form of anger, anxiety, and depression. Anger is a bubble of fear burst open. Let's say a colleague, Jack, appropriated your idea, presented it as his own to your boss, and got credit for it. You really feel angry inside, but are afraid to confront Jack. He asks you to join him for lunch, and you snap at him. He has no idea why you are angry. The fact is, you are angry because you are afraid of losing a promotion to Jack. He appears to be the better candidate on the basis of the idea he stole from you. You are afraid that in the boss's eyes, you are not good enough for the promotion. You may not even have been aware of such concerns prior to this event, but now the sensation of fear is strong, and it arose quickly, so it shows up as anger. The challenge is to turn the fear energy into love, so the anger will dissipate. But that means you need to feel confident and good about who you are. You need to reinforce feelings of competence and self-esteem. Instead of remaining angry at Jack. Approach and confront him assertively about his behavior. Say to him calmly, "Jack, you stole my idea and presented it as yours at the meeting. That's not right. I want you to go back in there and tell the boss the truth right now. If you don't, then I shall. But I first want to give you the benefit of taking responsibility yourself. Having love for yourself instead of being afraid that you are not good enough." Empowers you to tell Jack what he did was wrong without degrading him. Tell Jack what you want from him. Also, tell him that if he is not able to take responsibility and rectify the problem, then you will. Loving yourself is very powerful. No energy needs to be wasted in anger arising from fear. Try applying this strategy in a situation you may be experiencing yourself. And you will see how anger need no longer be your behavior of choice. You can choose love instead of fear. Many people are raised to believe that sadness and anger are bad emotions that should be suppressed. While you feel free to express joy, you feel uncomfortable crying, or worse, when others cry in front of you. But suppression of sadness or anger is no good. They are natural feelings, just like joy. According to Gil Boyne, anger is either exploded, you know what that means, or imploded, that is internalized. Fear that rises quickly and is based on a sense of guilt or unworthiness is expressed as anger. When that anger is expressed in violent ways, such as an explosion, it can hurt you, other people, or both, leading to further pain and suffering. If you cannot adequately voice or act out anger, the logical alternative is for you to swallow it. And we've seen earlier that negative energy directed inward can lead to illness or disease, such as in implosion. A feeling is a feeling; it is meant to be experienced and expressed. But what's the appropriate way to express anger? If you don't know, you are not alone. Most people lack the skills to express our feelings in ways that support their sense of self-worth. Shortly after the Columbine tragedy, I taught a class on anger expression. As homework, I asked a class of junior-level health majors at the university to write down one hundred and one expressions of anger. I suggested they imagine a situation in which they were really angry. The hundred and one statements or acts were to express how they felt. When they showed up for the next class, I instructed them first to take a red pen and circle all the statements that indicated inflicting violence on another person. Second, they were to take a blue pen and underline all the statements that indicated violence towards themselves. Third. They used a green pen to circle any statements that contained no violent acts towards themselves or others. 
The outcome was shocking, though I should perhaps not have been too surprised. There were many red circles and blue lines, and very few green circles. For one woman, ninety-seven of her hundred and one statements directed violence toward another person, while the remaining four indicated hurting herself. It is a tragedy indeed. Whether you currently explode or implode the energy of anger, you can learn ways to express that energy in healthy ways so as not to hurt yourself or others. Anger is fear. Examine any instance in which you have felt angry. If you are honest enough and dig deep enough, you will discover that the anger arose from a fear of rejection, abandonment. Or some form of criticism, it all eventually comes to rest on the fear of not being good enough or not being lovable. And if left untreated or unexamined, it's the beginning of a vicious downward spiral of fear, taking you through feelings of self-loathing, on into behaviors that are self-betraying. That's why it's so important to transmute fear into love. If fear is not transmuted, its energy proceeds on an insidious, detrimental path, causing you and others you relate with pain and suffering.